hi Gemini thank you for clicking on this video so this is just going to be a general message in regards to the person that misses you just want to see how they're feeling any influences um, emotional blocks they're having and what's their expectations so um, it's just going to be either surrounding you or the entire relationship if there's any advice to be given I will give that over to you and I can also be picking up on your energy as well. So keep in mind this may or may not resonate with you and parts of it may and parts of it may not. So just take the parts that do resonate with you. Okay, Gemini. Okay, let's go. How does Gemini person feel? What is Gemini's person thinking? The person that misses them or this particular person? Oh. Well, somebody somewhere has some disappointment. Um, it was like... Um, a feeling of in the past it was an offer that was not good enough for someone what influenced this the sun so the influence was with the sun card like i said again somebody wasn't very happy with an offer that they they received like they wanted to be in a joyful happy um inspirational um full of love relationship hmm let's see so the feeling is there was some disappointment they were not happy with the offer and they were influenced by the sun which is their happiness okay let me clarify the sun let's clarify the sun for gemini Why wasn't this per person happy? You or your person happy? Now I'm also getting like, with the sun card, somebody knew their self-worth. Like they knew that they deserved more than what was being offered. So that, that's why the four of cups is there in the disappointment and the, sorry. And the sun is there in the influence position. I still wanna clarify the sun. I'm already here. Gemini, gosh, you or your person don't want to give it up. Let's take a minute. Okay. Ten of Swords. So there was some um, heartbreak, break, and betrayal. So again, let's just go over this real quick. Um. This person felt like the offer that you gave them in the relationship or you could have felt this way wasn't good enough. The, the influence behind that is because it affected their happiness. The, the sun card was clarified by the ten of swords. Like there was some betrayal, pain, and burden. Somebody really got hurt in this relationship. So there was a lot of disappointment. That's the overall feeling of the relationship. Okay, what was the emotional block? Or Gemini or the person or what is the person thinking the emotional block was with the relationship with Gemini I get uh, a feeling that this person with this ten of swords it's like this person trusted you or you trusted this person and somebody was heavily betrayed in this relationship um, but the Sun card being in the influence it's like their self-esteem and their confidence was were were affected. Oh, something flew out. Did it flip over? It did not. No, it didn't flip over. So I'm gonna keep going. But I, when I saw the chariot, if it's in the emotional block position, it's like this: um, you or your person can't move on. It's like a lack of energy, a lack of focus. Um, you can't move on. You're going in the wrong direction because there's so much nostalgia here and attachment. I don't know if you guys have kids together or 
met each other's kids or just was the support system. You were the support system for them. Oh my God. I don't want to give it up today. Do it one more time. But I, I get the feeling like either you were the support system for them or they were the support system for you. And all it was just kind of cut out. Okay, so what was the blocks? There we go. Commitment. Somebody in this relationship didn't want to make a commitment. Okay, what is the expectation for you or your person? Again, this five of cups, broken heart. So you or your person expects that this will con this will be in an energy of a broken heart. Like either you or the person is not ready. Hmm. Let's see. Like, what is the, what's going to be the outcome? For Gemini. Oh, gosh. Okay, one more time. What's the outcome for Gemini? Gemini. There's going to be a judgment. So either somebody's going to be totally transparent in this relationship um, or you either you or your person or the person that's thinking about you or that misses you, they're going to be totally transparent. There's going to be some understanding in this relationship and you have to have an open mind, Gemini, to receive this message that they're going to give you. Um, Again, I, I feel like this person or you did find your person highly attractive, um, but there was something in this relationship that caused a lot of burden, broke some hearts. I feel like it had to do with surround, it was surrounding commitment and the overall outcome is there's going to be some realization. So either you're going to realize something about the relationship, about yourself, about this person, or they're going to re realize something about this relationship themselves um or you but with the judgment um i don't know maybe they're going to want to redeem themselves i don't i don't really know it's very unclear so but that is should i clarify the let me clarify the judgment i just want to know a little bit more like i don't want to leave it like So somebody here is trying to manifest an opportunity still. Hmm. Do I dare do one more? So the outcome, the overall outcome, the most likely outcome is there going to be some self-realization. Maybe there's going to be some talk, trying to manifest another um, communication. Somebody's trying to manifest another communication. And ultimately, what is the last? This is the last card. <laughs> oh, so maybe there's going to be a wish fulfillment in this energy. Like since there's going to be some self-realization, something's um, going to come to the light. I'm sorry. There's going to be some healing. Did I say healing? <laughs> Did I say not, not a wish fulfillment? I'm sorry. There's going to be some healing when, because there's going to be some um, communication, something's going to be awakened. Um, maybe there'll be communication between the both of you and there'll be some healing for one of you. Okay, that's what I have for you.